globalised uh, new world order. Oh, yeah. we'll love that. Um, well, I think given that many of our problems are global, it would be good if we had a global agenda and global system. My view For me, these people are, they're, they're nothing to us. They're, they are just shadows on the wall. They are a zoetrope. They're an illusion. Ignore them. Ignore them. They will go. We don't need to involve ourselves in their paradigm. Create a new paradigm. If you create a better system, the old one will become obsolete. The old one will become obsolete. Let's not focus on? our energy on the people that are like a faffing around in the old system that enhances their privilege, inculcates their systems, their ideas. Because I woke up, I've been asleep, like all of us, I've been asleep. Because I've been distracted. It's nice to get a load of money. It's nice to get a load of attention. If you're poor, they say you're bitter. If you're rich, they say you're a hypocrite. Because they don't give a fuck. They don't want this conversation. They don't want us Who's talking that? about this. Uh, people in power, privileged positions. So like, like, they want you to be talking about Justin Bieber, they want you to be talking about twerking. They, want you, they, don't, they don't want you talking about fracking, they want you talking about twerking. They want to get on with their job, shut your fucking mouths and watch this shit, you fucking morons. And I'm no, because I've been part of the charade. But, you know, I'm awake now. When, when were you part of the charade? Posted fucking MTV. spiritual practice that I've recognised that m my own impermanence, my own irrelevance, the fact that I'm just a person shuffling through life, I ain't really no different now from when I was a little kid, and what I, all I want really is, the, not, I don't want that feeling in my stomach that people are being uh, give, like, treated badly, I don't want a feeling that people are being exploited. Richard Dawkins is like that, he just wants to dismiss and diminish and take the magic and mysticism. Anything that we're describing through science, we're describing through the prism of the five limited senses. Our eyes can only see between infrared light and ultraviolet light. There's light bouncing around everywhere. Our ears can only hear a tiny decibel range, can't hear the noise of a dog whistle, can't hear any high-pitched frequency sounds. Isn't it likely then that there are other vibrations, frequencies, energies, consciousness moving through the universe? Like, well, listen, what are the basic facts? We are on a planet. On, as far as we know, in infinite space. There are limited resources on the planet. There are a certain number of people on the planet. We need systems that get the resources to the people while respecting the planet. Any system that's detrimental to the planet or detrimental to the people because it helps one or two bods, fuck it off. We're allowed to do that, you know. This thing that's happening now, capitalism, it's held in place by lies, police force, and military. It's not like a sort of a thing that just happened, like, you know, like monkeys picking fleas off each other. It's not a natural behavior. It's inculcated, but it's Russell, indoctrinated, people, and it's held together it with may be fear. La periodista le preguntó por la monarquía. ¿Le otorga también una legitimidad a, la, a esta monarquía, a la corona, al rey? Claro, y lo meto por una razón que no lo había contado. Y el expresidente del gobierno se tapó el micro y en un descuido reveló el secreto. Pues es simplemente que cuando que la mayor parte de los jefes de gobierno extranjero me pedían referente a monarquía de la Claro, eso era peligrosísimo en ese momento. Hace encuestas y traía. Claro. Y hace mucho que se estaba diciendo algo que ya... Entonces yo metí la palabra y la palabra monarquía. Y de aquella y de ley, manera... Y de que había soy yo sometido a referente. ¿no? Claro. Entonces yo metí la palabra y la palabra monarquía. Y de aquella ley, manera... Y de que había soy yo sometido a referente. ¿no? Claro. Entonces yo metí la palabra y la palabra monarquía. Y de aquella ley, manera... Y de que había soy yo sometido a referente. ¿no? Claro.
royal family. I don't like hierarchical structures that inform us on a regular basis, deep, deep in our psyche, that we're just peasants and we need some nominal figure between us and God, God inside. You know, but like, you know, really, don't have a royal family, it's stupid. Who's the reason there's a poor white working class? Is it because of people signing on? Is it because of immigrants? Or is it because there's a super rich elite taking all the money? That's a rhetorical question. The answer is the super rich elite. <laughs> David Cameron. Same as Tony Blair. Do you know they all go to the same parties? I've got a mate who was at a party the other night at some rich person's house. Them Tony Blair, David Cameron, they're all at the same party. They're at the same party. So at work, it's like, I'm this party, I'm that party. Nighttime, we're at the same fucking party. <laughs> Nighttime, we're at the same fucking party. <laughs> Nighttime, we're at the same fucking party. <laughs>